Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jarrell here with Feast on Good and Gorilla Branders. I am here with two really funny, awesome, amazing guys. We have Eric and we have Daniel. I guess you got, what, call you got the haiku guys? Like, what do we call you guys? Uh, that's exactly it. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> yeah, so I've actually been watching you guys all night just creating awesome haikus. So before we even get into that, I'm gonna have both of you just make a haiku about me right now. Put you on the spot. All right. <laughs> you wanna go? Okay, here we go, watch what do. Last one. It's like I'm back in school again. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like they're passing notes around. This is awesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no! Let's go! Okay, we're excited. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Superman's father, <laughs> before he was even born, far from kryptonite. <laughs> I love it. I like it. I like it. Oh, this is awesome. See, I feel special. I feel really, really special. So, you guys, tell me how you guys came up with this entire concept and idea and how you put it into work. You know, like, where did it even come from? Uh, so, uh, we're working on another project called Start. Uh, our logo is a stop sign that said start for, instead of stop. You got a name? <laughs> so actually found the sticker like recently. It. That's what, Ooh! Give us a drill. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's keep you. this. Yeah, I got this. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and uh, the idea was to interview business owners and entrepreneurs to find out how they got started doing what they were doing. Okay. What, was, okay. what were the very first steps you took mm -hmm. from not doing what you do now to doing what you do now? Okay. Um, okay. And in order to find these types of people, um, we figured we'd just set up a free haiku stand in Brooklyn. Uh, I would write the haiku, mm -hmm. and you'd give me a topic. So wow. you give me a topic, I'm gonna sit there and write it. It's gonna take you a couple. It's gonna take me a couple minutes to write it. In the meantime, you're stuck standing there waiting. Dan's gonna ask you a couple <laughs> questions. Hey, this is the project we're working on. Mm -hmm. uh, are you a business owner? Are you an entrepreneur? Mm -hmm. If so, are you interested in answering a couple questions we have to ask you? Okay. And, uh, so I would come in with the pitch, and I would be there telling them what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Eric would write a haiku, they would love it. I would get their contact info, we'd go to their place a week later, interview them, put the interview on the site, and we're building this collection of people who have started things, teaching others, like this is how you start. But after a little while, people weren't, uh, well, we weren't really, we realized we were not that good at the video and the interview and the, the Edit, whole start side the of it. The editing, <laughs> and it was like, we were so curious mm -hmm. about these people's stories that we would do like two and a half long interviews. Two and a half hour long. Yeah, yeah. Like no one is going to watch or read or listen. Like, yeah. Because there's no way that anyone's going to listen to anything that long. Mm -hmm. But people like the haiku. People like the haiku. They like stopping on the street for a haiku. Nice, they started nice. inviting us to events. Mm -hmm. We were like, all right, sure, we'll come to events and write haiku there. Uh, we started, yeah. So we, you know, basically like. So we did a couple events, and then one day Dan and I are coming back from our typical writing on the street, you know, interviewing people and whatnot. And Dan says, "Yo, we should write poetry at parties." So um, we came up with the idea to ask our friends who are throwing a dance party, uh, "Yo, can we come write haiku at your party and awesome. see if it kind of picks up?" They're like, "Yeah, sure." I think that was that the very first event that we did that we met Jerry. Wow. Uh, at the feast, wow. was like, yo, I'm doing this event in October, mm -hmm. and I'd love to have you guys come out. Um, we did a bunch of other parties. At that party, someone was like, hey, can you come to this party? Hey, can you come to this party? And here we are. We've just been riding that wave, kind of yeah. the idea of That's progress, cool. just happening, just like letting things flow. And what idea, what was one idea of the start movement, uh, has now evolved into this thing, mm -hmm. and we're still riding this wave and learning a lot at this conference. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're actually open to yes. this potentially turning into something else. That's and we cool. love what we do, yeah. but you know, we're gonna continue to stay open minded about it. What's funny That's about cool. it is the idea was we wanted to start a business, mm -hmm. but we had no idea what we wanted it to be. Okay, so we thought, okay. let's just ask other people how they started their businesses. And then, lo and behold, we just ended up starting our own business where we <laughs> entertain guests at parties with improvised haiku. That's cool. So, what are some of the funniest things that you guys have learned thus far with creating these haikus or going to these events? And just some of the weird stories that you guys have, the things you've seen. Funniest? <laughs> Probably the, the funniest is, uh, what's a haikus? 
Uh, Hikers? <laughs> so, um, little, little did, did, does anybody really know, yeah. um, and it took us actually a while to learn, mm -hmm. that um, the plural of haiku like is haiku. Yeah. The same way deer is the plural of deer and sheep is the plural of sheep. Yeah. So, uh, when we first started doing what we do, we had a sign that said, free haikus. Because we thought ha haikus was a plural of haiku. Supernatural. Yeah. You're always doing that the whole time. It just makes sense. <laughs> it just made sense. Awesome. And one day this guy was walking by and we were at like a, I don't know, it was like a like an antique sale in Lancaster like County, fair, Pennsylvania yeah. or something. And this guy walks up and he's like, hey, what's a haikus? And he had no idea and clearly neither did we because like haikus <laughs> isn't even a thing and haikus aren't even a thing. It's, it's haiku. Um, and, you know, like, we kind of laughed at that guy for a moment, um, mm -hmm. but really we should have been laughing at ourselves because yeah. we weren't, Thanks, man. we didn't, we didn't have it right, like, here we are writing haiku and wow. we still, it, and I think it's just a lesson, of, there's always something more to learn. Yes. Yes. And so. you never have it down, even if you think you do, and, like, you know, the whole reason that we're here at the feast together mm -hmm. is because we're celebrating progress and getting better. Awesome. And you don't have progress unless you look back mm -hmm. and say, where did we start? Where yeah. are we now? Where are we going? And then when you get there, mm -hmm. you look back and do the same thing. Amazing. Amazing. I like it. So on that note, where do you guys see yourselves going with this? Or where would you like to go? And what are some of the things you hope to accomplish in getting there? Yeah, I think we definitely want to... Um, you know, first of all, this is something new. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really, you know, we get to do this party called Daybreaker, which is a morning mm -hmm. dance party from 7 to 9 a.m. And we're, we find ourselves riding haiku on a boat. They did a boat party at 7 in the morning in New York City. Awesome. Looking at the awesome. city, sun rising, and all this stuff. Session Liberty. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, and we have a moment of reflection, like, wow, we really, like, carved something unique and love what we do, mm -hmm. and people around us really enjoy it, and that's wonderful. But while we're dreamers mm -hmm. and you know, it's fun to dream as dreamers, but dreamers also need to take a moment to figure out their business plan. Yes. <laughs> what is What are our goals for the next months, year, three years, five years? Yeah. How are we gonna sustain this business? How do we spread the word? Um, what is it really all about? A lot of things like that put this whole thing together mm -hmm. still need to be figured out. And awesome. that's, I think that's, you know, people at, this fe uh, at the feast are also encountering those challenges and they probably figured out other parts of that. They probably know how to think far. They probably know the financial side. We still hold on to all of our receipts and are like figuring out like what are we gonna do around tax season? It's just gonna be like you know crazy for us. So you know, think, I think that that's kind of important for us is to learn uh, those bits and pieces of what you awesome. know what it takes to be a good business. But as far as um, maybe like a five or ten year plan, mm -hmm. um, we hosted a couple events ourselves. It was uh, the the first one is called a haiku duel. Hmm. It's an NCAA bracket style haiku tournament. Awesome. Two poets face off awesome. one on one until a champion emerges. Um, sixteen poets 16, total. Sixteen poets total. Wow. The winner yeah, walks away with four to five hundred bucks oh, cash. Okay. Okay. Uh, which is pretty cool for a poet in New yeah. York that's just writing haiku. Um, and it, what, what's cool about it is. Each poet has two minutes to write their haiku, and during that time, we have DJ playing some awesome music, mm. partying and dancing. Awesome, awesome. As soon as the music stops, poets read their haiku, audience applause decides the winner. So it's like a uh, mix between poetry reading, dance party. Poetry reading, dance party. Um, and we've been getting involved in events such as this. Um, we've had a couple different like PR agencies mm. and just other people reach out to us and ask us like, Hey, we're trying to throw this event. Mm -hmm. What's your advice for how to make it better? Oh, okay. Um, so, as we've done this a little bit more often, mm -hmm. people have been kind of looking to us for advice for how to make their event event better. Awesome. And like awesome. haiku is kind of just a given at that point. They're like, hey, we want you to come write haiku at our event. How else can we make it better? Uh, so, if you're going to ask what what's the five to ten year plan, um, we're looking to get into the event production space. Amazing. Uh, I, like it. I like it. And make some really cool, awesome, fun things happen that people have never really ever thought of before. Beautiful. Well, well can, where can everyone find, you know, where you guys do your work or how can they contact you guys? Uh, we are The Haiku Guys. You can follow us on Twitter or Instagram at, at The Haiku Guys. Our website is thehaikuguys.com. Everything The Haiku Guys. Super, super accessible. Mm -hmm. uh, if you shoot us a note and you want to meet up in New York for a coffee or a beer or a walk in the park or anything like that, 
we're totally all about it. I mean, there's literally nothing stopping us from just ever meeting new people awesome. and awesome. having a new experience. Uh, so, like, uh, yeah. and, <laughs> and while we are the IQ guys, it's very important to note that uh, we, we took ourselves from start mm -hmm. to where we are now, and there have been many steps <laughs> along the way that would not have been possible oh, without awesome. our haiku gal, Lisa okay. Markison, nice. who could not nice. be here. All right. uh, and it's very I important. Miss you, yeah, <laughs> we, we miss you, Lisa, and uh, we wish that you were here. Uh, and uh, she'll be here tomorrow. She'll be here awesome. Saturday. And uh, hopefully she'll be along for the entire ride for the rest of our lives. All right, well, thank you guys very much. These two are awesome. Make sure you find them here at the Feast on Good, also at thehaikuguys.com. Have fun. See you guys later. Feast on Good. Gorilla Benders. Peace. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Love it. Awesome.